Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brant, and I'm ready to talk to you about only good comics. This time, we're talking about Hellcat, issue number one by Christopher Cantwell, with art by Alex Lins. Now, I was hesitant going in, into this book. I always am excited when a new Hellcat book comes out. I like Pat, Patsy Walker. I really liked her character in the Iron Man series that Cantwell also wrote. Uh, but at the same time, it's like when I would read a Hellcat book, they were usually solid, but it wasn't, it, nothing blew my socks off, right? It didn't get me like, it didn't give me everything that I wanted. And I just keep wanting them to, them to do something special with Hellcat because I think she is a really interesting character with a, a really cool and unique backstory uh, to her character. If you've read any of her stuff previously, uh, as a child, her, her mom based a comic strip or, or a TV show or something like that off of her. Uh, and kind of, she became famous by being uh, the inspiration for this thing and, and it's kind of driven her life and of course now she has uh, you know she's a superhero and she's all that and everybody knows that she's a superhero it's no secret and so there's that connection and um, also we've seen a version of her character on the Jessica Jones uh, Netflix series and uh, you know it's some interesting threads there with her family background and all that so a uh, really interesting character that uh, I, I just hope they continue to explore. And seeing her like kind of featured in Iron Man gave me hopes. And then this series was announced and I was still a little hesitant. I, I wasn't familiar with the artist. I didn't know, uh, you know, if I was gonna like it or whatever. And I expressed this, you know, hesitancy on Comic Book Weekly. But then we looked at the preview page and I was like, well, that looks pretty good. It's not what I, what I expected. You know, but you know, we'll, we'll see what it's about. And this book turned out to be something I didn't expect, but I really enjoyed. So this, uh, this book starts off with a murder mystery. And now I'm a sucker for a good murder mystery. And you, you wrap in an interesting character with an interesting backstory and you throw in some superheroes in a connected uh, superhero universe with characters that I'm familiar with and I know. And that makes it even more interesting. So uh, that's what we start off with. We start off with Hellcat, Patsy Walker, getting arrested because she's got blood all over her. There's a dead body. And we learn as the story progresses that this is somebody that she was actually recently dating. And now uh, she's not even sure herself if she did this. She doesn't think she did. And she's got to get to the bottom of it. Um, obviously, they don't have enough to hold her on, so she gets out on bail or whatever, and uh, she goes about her own investigation on this, and she kind of has, you know, some some leads that we learn as we're going forward. Uh, but it was really interesting to see her in this position because she, like I said, she doesn't remember. Like maybe she blacked out or something. Something caused her to not remember or lose time or something, and, and she wasn't, and and she. In, in Iron Man, she had like this psychic ability because she had, uh, I forget what she had touched, but she had gotten infected with something um, in that series at some point. She had gained some extrasensory uh, abilities and she lost those. So now she just got like her regular uh, abilities and everything. And, and so it, it's, it was kind of interesting because then we got to flashback to some of her past in high school with her friend and uh, kind of leading up to how that impacts the current situation, which is, you know, the guy has a connection to her best friend from high school and all this stuff. And uh, so that was that, you know, kind of um, widened the pool of suspects. And that's, that's the way a great murder mystery does is every single person and every single situation that it introduces, it widens that pool of suspects and makes you question, oh, well, I thought this was the person, but now I think that's the person. Well, maybe it's this person over here though, uh, because they have motivation too. And so now you're getting a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of characters involved with this. And then we're introduced to another character, which is another Marvel superhero in this book. And it's another one that I really liked that was big in the 90s that was, you know, featured in a lot of books, had his own book. Um, and he's featured in this book as well. And now he's a suspect 
uh, because of things that have gone on there. So we're getting to dive into you know what's going on with that character as well. And I thought that was really interesting too. So now you've got two characters that I really like that have rich pasts and histories and uh, complicated lives and, and everything. And now they're you know mashed together and both murder suspects. <laughs> and neither one of them know if they did it or not. They really don't, they don't have a clue. So beautiful storytelling. I, I thought this was great. I thought um, the art, like I said, it wasn't what I expected, but it was really good art. Um, it was kind of a, I don't, I don't know how to describe the art. It's not quite like your typical superhero stuff, but it's not quite slice of life either. It's like somewhere in between like an action cartoon kind of style uh, and like traditional comic style with a somewhat muted, somewhat kind of a, not a dark coloring style, but like a, not a vibrant bright one it had like a lot of um, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for but it's uh, almost got like this dark wash over over it you know what I mean so it's like a little moody uh, which but it really fit and then Hellcat's yellow you know costume just popped out because of that and the blood and everything and it was just a it was a really nice balance of colors throughout it uh, really expressive faces and uh, really just great storytelling all throughout, both in the actual story and in the art. So I, I thought it was a fantastic first issue. I really enjoyed it. Can't wait to see where this goes, um, what it means for Hellcat, how it impacts that character going forward and this other character that they introduced it. You know, I don't want to spoil in case you haven't read it or haven't heard, uh, but it's pretty cool if you're an you know, old school Marvel fan like myself. And uh, yeah, so I thought this was a fantastic first issue and I highly recommend checking it out if you're a Hellcat fan. So go check it out. And uh, while you're doing that, check out the comments below. Leave me a note if you did like this issue and what you liked about it and what you what you think about it. Who do you think uh, killed this guy and, uh, and why? So uh, yeah, and then of course, leave me a, a like or a thumbs up on this video. Hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any content on this channel follow me across social media at only good comics and then i'll come back with you again to talk about only good comics until then take care bye